What up, people? Welcome to the new club, and Kayato. We are going to go through some stuff from my professional career and tell you what's up. Let's go. All right, so before we get going and talking about uh, the new club, it's important probably to talk about where I've been. A lot of new people to the channel that haven't been following uh, my career and where I've played and stuff like that, so um, we'll throw stuff up here. Uh, but I uh, started in the MLS, uh, but if we go even before that, I played college soccer at St. Louis University for a year and a half. I left early to go pro. I was on the U-20 national team, played in the under-20 World Cup for uh, USA. Um, I was drafted by Chicago Fire. I played there for a year before playing for my hometown club in the MLS Sporting Kansas City. So I played there for two years and then I left to go to Denmark um, in uh, the Danish Superliga for Randers. And uh, after that, played in Serbia which was my first foray into the Balkan world and the Balkan madness. And um, after that, I uh, had a failed transfer to Zilina, which is an uh, incredible story because of some in-house fighting between my Serbian club and FIFA and some <laughs> mafia <laughs> members, uh, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Uh, so that's a story that we can probably tell on the channel sometime. And uh, I played about two and a half years or so in Baku, Azerbaijan, which was a great time because of the level of the league. is a very big split there uh, at the top. So you have five or six clubs that have excellent financial settings, and they are able to bring in a lot of good foreigners because of the wages. And then you have a big drop-off for the last and the bottom, bottom clubs. So I spent two years there. I was leading scorer. Uh, I won a few awards there and I, I keep on with a ton of the friends that I had on that team so that was a really really good time. From there I went to uh, Morocco and played for Mas de Fez which was great but short-lived due to some violence and stuff that happened uh, there and so I had a three-year contract I believe and I only stayed eight nine months something something like this uh, but it was a really great setup and uh, I'm pretty close to all their fans because they're mad crazy. <laughs> Found my way to Finland where we played in the Europa League. Uh, we should have won the league. To be honest, we had a complete and obvious chance to qualify for the Champions League. Uh, and we missed out on uh, even the last day. Uh, so we qualified for the Europa League and had a nice little mini run there. Um, and uh, also played in Tbilisi in Georgia in the, uh, the Georgian Super League. So before that, I... I I had my stints in Croatia during the fighting of the, the leagues and stuff like this. I had a, a really good friend, Hamed Bangura, shout out to Hamed, who helped save me and, and, and bring me out of a contract that I was having issues with. And um, that was the only other time that I played in the second league. So this is the, the second time I'll play in the second league um, in, my, in my career. And both times I'm happy that the setup was incredibly professional and the level. So we'll talk about the level, that's for sure something, because on, on YouTube you've got guys all over the place playing all over and it's really hard to understand who's good and what's real and, and what's a Sunday league and, and what not. And uh, I think that's something that I can probably give answers to given my experience across the entire, entire world now. So. Yeah, so it's going uh, well, the start. I mean, you know, it was an interesting way for me to pop up here. Uh, showed up a little late, a couple weeks in, or just a couple weeks out before the season was actually going to start, so no preseason for me. So just a few seconds into my first preseason game, uh, pulled out with a slight quad strain, which kept me out for six weeks almost. Uh, so. That ended up being like preseason for me. I ended up jogging around the training pitch like, a, like an idiot. It's what you do in circles. It sucks, guys. Uh, but uh, after that was done, there's no issues. I've had my debut since then in the cup. Uh, we won 2-0. I had the second goal. So nothing. It's something to work, work on, you know. It's, it's nothing. You never, you're never done. It's never done. You play a game, if it goes well, you don't really get to celebrate. You have to, do, you have to do it again. If it goes bad, you have a game in a few days. That's how it is. We're in a position where we want to fight to win every game, and that's it, game by game. Obviously, I love Croatia. I speak Croatian, so it's 
pretty easy for me to assimilate into the culture, into the team, the players, the jokes and stuff like that when I already understand the coach. I don't need a translator or anybody. Um, but I'm happy here. I, I feel at home in this part of the world and I always have, so. Najdraža hrvatska psova. Teško riječ. Prvo što sam naučio, možda je bilo jebote. Možda je bilo jebote, onda su meni naučili reci puši kurac. Onda sam rekao puši kurac. Naš. <laughs> Psovat na hrvatskom je najbolje u svijetu. <laughs> Uh, dobro, to, to, da. Ajde, dječ, dobro. All right, guys, so we are at our training facility. This is where we train. So we've got a nice pitch right here. Behind it, we've got artificial grass where we don't train a whole lot because obviously we prefer to be on grass. Comment down below if you hate artificial grass. So what is it like? What's the normal training and stuff like that for us? Uh, trainings can be in the morning or the afternoon. Um, we have gym sessions also during the week. Everything depends on the game situation. So we will try and get you guys some footage of our, our trains and stuff like that so you guys can try and understand what it is that we do week in, week out. We'll make videos on that stuff. Definitely gonna introduce you guys to some of the, the crazy madness of the players and the team. We've got one guy who uh, I'm pretty sure is a hair model. There's one guy who's mad no matter what you ask him. We've got David who's the quintessential professional. The goalies, uh, I don't, there's nothing I can say about the goalies. And then there's the Bosnian, Chile. That's my boy. So it's a great setup here. A lot of the guys here have some excellent experience, obviously all around the world, plenty of the players. We've got a decent number of foreigners. We've got a couple Korean guys who are crazy. We've got Bamba from uh, Ivory Coast. We've got some guys of Albanian descent, Bosnian descent. Uh, and then two Americans, of course. So our, one of the big things for the club is that the management and staff is incredibly professional. Our coaching staff is well experienced beyond, beyond what should be expected, you know. Uh, so we are in luck and you guys know me, I'm here to learn every time I step on the field. That's all about learning. You know, you wanna win, you wanna get better and you wanna be competitive and that's it. This is not my first club, this is not the first time I've been doing this, uh, it's been years, so the focus is always just on getting better every day, trying to improve your, your, your style of play, uh, winning in training, winning in games, that's it, you know, game by game by game by game. I'm in line with the stars, I'm in sync with the earth.